वेलकम टू टॉप क्रू एविएशन दिस इज कैप्टन पी के यादव हेलो गाइस टुडे वी वुड डिस्कस अबाउट एटीएस रूट्स हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन देम फॉर चैनलिंग द फ्लो ऑफ ट्रैफिक एज नेसेसरी फॉर द प्रोविजन ऑफ एयर ट्रैफिक सर्विस सो गाइस वी स्टार्टेड मेकिंग रूट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ वीओआर we would discuss about uh, vor in details in part 2 as well as in navigation guys so this is an instrument all right guys uh, with the help of this instrument uh, we can fly like from point a to point b so guys we can not fly directly and wherever the vor is we have to fly through them let's say uh, between delhi to mumbai we have two vor all right guys and let's say the distance is 200 nautical miles between uh, delhi to mumbai the maximum range of vor is 200 nautical miles only all right guys if we want to fly like um, for more than 200 nautical miles we have to place the another vor then only we can fly there so uh, for direct flying uh, from point a to point b let's say point a is delhi and point b is uh, mumbai and the distance between both of them is 200 nautical miles guys so we can fly directly because uh, that is in the range of vor all right guys now let's say if you want to fly from a to d and uh, that is not the direct route like we cannot fly directly a to d because we do not have vor in place so we have to fly in zigzag guys so do remember so that will increase the distance that will increase the flying time and that definitely we are going to consume more fuel to fly from a to d so that was the conventional method to create routes vor to vor earlier all right so that was the issue that's why we were in search so that if uh, in case if we get something better than this so that uh, we can fly directly from a to d uh, without flying zigzag all right guys so this is what uh, we were uh, planning all right and uh, this has been uh, confirmed now as i was explaining you because uh, vor to vor uh, we can fly but other than that we can not fly so we can say guys route cannot defined as per radial all the times all right guys so after that concept of area navigation uh, we we say that r nav came into the process uh, so that uh, we can make uh, better routes guys so guys because we know already like uh, well, we cannot fly a to d directly because of rain we have to fly zigzag that is again time consuming and costly guys also we cannot install vor anywhere and forget because we need experts to maintain it regularly guys right so as uh, i have already told you earlier like we can say that route cannot be defined as per radial all the time so then concept of area navigation comes into picture based on gnss global navigation satellite system guys we started creating waypoints parallel to the vor and start flying via waypoint with the help of gps guys all right so it is cost effective again and uh, lesser time guys more routes are available okay so how earlier we were flying a to d via we were going a to b then b to c then c to d then we created uh, waypoints with the help of vor which were installed and uh, as of now also installed but uh, we are retiring uh, most of the vor now guys and we you know fix the waypoints so that uh, we, with the help of these waypoints we can fly directly uh, with the help of gps from a to d so this was the benefit of uh, area navigation guys 
so uh, i would tell you like what, what is the area navigation system rnav is a method of navigation which permits the operation of an aircraft on any desired flight path you can go anywhere guys okay it allows its position to be continuously determined wherever it is rather than only along tracks between individual ground navigation aids guys so guys rnav includes pbn what is pbn performance based navigation as well as other rnav operations that are not within the definition of pbn okay guys so the most important uh, discovery of these routes was you know using gps guys so that brought a completely new opportunity to derive an accurate three dimensional position as well as highly accurate two dimensional position over an area not restricted by the disposition of ground transmitters guys so rnav of sufficient accuracy is now seen ultimately as providing a replacement of all ground based navigational aids guys so now we don't need these vor ndbs just to create routes uh, we have better concept and we are using gps and uh, we are creating rnav routes guys okay so see this is good but uh, now we were looking for more accuracy and alert system so that we can get alert in case we deviate from our routes all right guys now we are flying we have direct routes but sometimes because of uh, wind or anything guys if we are getting deviated from uh, our specified uh, route then definitely we are going here and there it would consume more fuel as well as time guys okay then this pbn comes into picture performance based navigation even though rnav is also the part of pbn but more accurate is rnp means required navigation performance so that is based on a satellite in the sky and computers in aircraft guys guys let's compare between rnp and rnav so both are the similar thing both comes under pbn family guys the major difference between rnp and rnav is in rnav you do not get any alert if you deviate from your uh, flight route guys but in rnp you get alert in case if you are getting diverted or deviated from your specified route so in practical terms what this means is that air traffic control can have greater confidence in the track keeping performance of the aircraft and his greater confidence translates into being able to place routes closer together so we can optimum use of routes guys we can create more routes parallelly i know like if aircraft is going to get diverted atc would come to know and atc will call them like uh, what's wrong with you why you are getting deviated okay so this is the better option so right now we are using these uh, performance based uh, navigation routes guys so alpha bravo golf romeo these routes are the international non rnav ats routes lima mike november papa these are the international rnav ats routes guys quebec tango yankee zulu are the domestic uh, area navigation hotel juliet victor whisky are the domestic non rnav routes guys in india we have q routes guys so now as we all know the basic concept like uh, what was the traditional method and uh, what was the improvement and uh, what is the recent situation which we are uh, following and which routes we are following uh, right now we are aware about the basic idea guys you just have to you know something basic in your head related to the ats routes so that you can give answers in case somebody is going to ask you in part 2 guys otherwise in part 1 uh, because now we know uh, what are the ats routes how we do design them so we can define what is ats route guys or we can say what are the ats routes controlled airspace 
in form of a corridor equipped with navigational aids either on ground or satellite is known as ATS route guides. So how we would be defining uh, for an example whiskey 20 north. So whiskey is like a prefix about route 20 is the numeric value of that particular route and the last one suffix November all right that is the direction all right guys so same goes like whiskey 20 south all right again whiskey is the prefix about route 20 is the numeric value for that and south is the direction whenever you fly south you can follow this route so this is how you would be getting a number of routes with the direction or without direction let's say for an example whiskey 112 means if there is no direction mentioned or there is no suffix in the end then it means you can fly in any direction guys so it was the basic about uh, routes we would discuss uh, more about them once uh, we would uh, start uh, making calls and all all right guys so that's it for uh, this particular topic we would proceed further okay here you go your checklist like subscribe and share thank you for watching